2016 feels like a barium enema for the body politic. <laughs> but on the plus side, it's bringing all kinds of new voters into the political process, from angry young voters to angry black voters to angry voters who just happen to love the number 88. <laughs> What? An 88 tattoo doesn't necessarily mean Heil Hitler. It could stand for Hail Hootie. <laughs> but there's still one marginalized group fighting for political relevance. We sent our foreign exchange producer to witness their struggle. There is a common phrase in German. Das perverse Vergnügen einen reizbaren Atheisten zu beobachten. The perverse pleasure derived from observing an irritable atheist. There are no atheists in Fox. No, that's that a, is a statement for a That's reason. wrong. That's a lie. That's a bigoted statement. Anybody who doesn't begin his days in prayer isn't fit to be commander in chief. That is a very horrible thing to say. No, it's not. And there's no greater pleasure than observing David Silverman, president of the American atheists, as he talks to conservatives. Well, it's a fine. There really are no atheists. No, there are, actually. Well, that, that's a really that's a thing to say. Ah, more. Religion is a lie and a scam and a con. It has no redeeming values and it has no place in today's society. Dave is what we call a firebrand. I'm a firebrand atheist, I'm a civil rights activist. In any movement, you need people who are dicks, who are assholes. Yes, it's difficult to have a movement without an asshole. And David and his team are here making a big, juicy, pungent movement in an unexpected place. God bless CPAC. CPAC, the famed conservative political action conference, an annual right-wing celebration of small government and big God, and annoying little fucks in bow ties. CPAC, CPAC. Yuck. All held in Maryland's Gaylord Convention Center, about which name no easy jokes will be made. <laughs> Gaylord. Our rights do not come from our leaders. Our rights come from God. Into this carnival of conservative Gottheit blasen, deity blowing, comes Silverman. An atheist voter flyer? Atheist voters? His goal, to win allies with his charm. It makes me feel sad that you believe in a lie, and a con, and a scam. Nailed it. Conservatives should pay attention to the atheists because we're growing. There are 56 million non-religious voters in this country. And if you don't cater to us, you will be left behind. You will lose elections. Stop saying, hey, atheists, go away. Just two years ago, the atheists were ejected from CPAC. But changes are roiling conservatism. The conservative coalition, with its disparate components, has always been a platypus, stitched together with other platypi to create a platy frankenpus. Now it is rotting at the seams, collapsing into a festering pile of platy, frank, and pus, feasted on by orange maggots. This oozing anthropic goo might present a nourishing culture medium for the atheists at CPAC, but many were unhappy to see them. I just think they shouldn't be here. When they die and meet their maker, they're gonna find out uh, what reality really is. I don't think we should cater to their beliefs, no, because we were found on Christian principles. Judeo-Christian. Judeo-Christian. Judeo-Christian values. Would you be more accepting of atheists if they dressed more like you? No. If your biggest thing is God wants me to be president, shut up and sit down and let somebody qualified come up and do the job. Perhaps Silverman is too abrasive. To said. A charge often leveled against atheist heroes like Richard Dawson. Dawkins. Against atheist heroes like Richard Dawkins. What I want to urge upon you is militant atheism. Some at CPAC fought back against this militant atheism with their own weapon, passive aggressive prayer. I'll pray for you. Okay, I'll think for you. Zoom. I feel sorry for them if they don't believe in God. I was feeling sorry for God, for CPAC, and for likely not existing, but mostly for even metaphorically having to witness the atheists' futile efforts here. But what's this? People began visiting the booth, especially young people, offering both a receptive ear and potentially a side of buffalo wings. It really makes me happy to see their presence and see the diversity shown in, within conservatives. But I'm happy to see them here. I'd love to have more discussions with them. I personally don't have an issue with it. I really appreciate your front work. <laughs>
The story that emerged is that conservative millennials seem to care more about capitalism than god -patalism, and also dress like assholes. Big government sucks! Big government sucks! Millennials like these disturbingly friendly red-shirted students who were everywhere at CPAC, members of a group called Turning Point USA. Turning Point USA is a grassroots organization that is sweeping the nation. Turning Point! Wait, what's happening? What we try and do is educate millennial voters about capitalism and free market values. Yes, I see, but if you- Turning would... point! Please, could you just- I can't stress the amount of awesomeness that uh, capitalism All is- All right, already. These young Republicans bouncing their free market-induced boners together made me yearn for the old-fashioned repression of this bitter man and his supporters with their breastfeeding bibs. You're talking about the, the red capes? Capes? They look like breastfeeding bibs. No, they're capes. Okay, booby bib man. The rhetoric is really harmful and it's very painful and it, it boosts an anti-atheist bigotry in this country that permeates this country. For Silverman, CPAC was one more skirmish in a long battle. I like being a good guy. I like being the person who wears the white hat. I like leading the team that fights for nothing more than equality for everyone. Equality for everyone. Tolerance. It's all David Silverman wants. Religion deserves to die. And it should die. And if I'm the one that kills it, I'll be a very happy guy. And also to kill God. We'll be right back.